So after the introduction is, we now move into the topics. Our first topic is the French Revolution. The French Revolution. If this is not very clear, we can actually put it in capital letters. The French Revolution. And the year is 1789. Now, when we say the French Revolution, what should come to your mind is, first of all, French. When we say French, we refer to people who come from a country called France. So, nationalities... of France, you can say nationals of France. So when we say the French Revolution, we are basically going to talk about what happened in a country called France. That's where our focus will be. And this is the major event that shaped the history of a continent called Europe. So we'll begin with uh, first things first, by defining what a revolution is. We shall define what a revolution is. And then we shall look at the year it started. We have already mentioned it was against which government or which monarch? Against which government? Who are the people who led the revolution? leaders of the revolution and many other things as we shall find out in the future. So, let us define a revolution. A revolution is a change. In many books, many writers, they refer to it as a fundamental change. In the political social and economic spheres, that is a revolution. So whenever you see a change, but it doesn't mean these minor changes, but whichever it is, it is a revolution, a change that takes place, especially as far as a nation is concerned, we can call it a revolution. So the French Revolution, no, first of all the revolution, a revolution is a fundamental change. A fundamental change. In the political, social, and economic spheres. And economic spheres of life. This might be a little bit too much. We start with smaller issues. Uh, most of you are grown. If you are a girl, you have, of course, experienced some changes, body changes. That's a revolution. If you were not married and you got married, something has changed in your life. That's a revolution as far as the social aspect is concerned. If you are in a school and you are voted as the head prefect, there was a change in the political aspect of your life. If you are in a school and you are referred to as Don, maybe you are the rich guy around who uh, meets the bills at the canteen for some people, then your economic sphere, there is a change in your economic sphere, maybe probably because your parents are well off. So, when there is a change, political, social, economic, then we can refer to it as a revolution. So in France, there was a revolution, and it brought about changes in the political, social, and economic spheres of that country called France. And those changes were exported to other European countries. Other European countries emulated the idea, copied the changes, and also brought about change in their own countries. So. The French Revolution 
which began in 1789 in a country called France, brought about changes not only in France but the whole of the European continent, which is why we say the French Revolution was the event that shaped the history of modern Europe and the world at large.